Now we are going to send somebody out in the parking lot to move the vehicle at the parking spot number three, and then hopefully our car can find the parking spot. Oh, there you go. Okay. All right. Hey, it looks uh, rather nice. Oh, and uh, actually, that's uh, Pete, our next speaker. Uh, looks like he's enjoying his ride. And I think he's about to get out of his car. And he will, oh, he's got already there, has his phone in there. He's walking around. Uh, I believe he's about to start the function through the FF app for self parking. There you go. And let's see what happens. Uh, car's not moving. Oh, it's moving already. Okay, there you go. All right. FF91 is in a class of its own and has the most comprehensive sensor system of any production vehicle today. While it has more than 30 radars, cameras, ultrasonics, and a LiDAR throughout the vehicle, the 3D LiDAR is the key component providing the next level of active safety and self-driving technology. An industry first, its location signals to the occupants inside a vehicle as well as pedestrians and other cars outside a vehicle that this car is driving itself. And then it's done. Watch this. The lighter is going to go down. It's off. It's done. Touchdown!
NUV stands for New Electric Urban Vehicle. The design overall, interior, exterior, and even the user experience is a concept we call subtractive simplicity. And what that really means is just this honesty in approach. The new V lighting, we really wanted to make something that had this kind of floating glow to it so that when it's still and it's turned off, it kind of blends into the environment a little bit. It's like this polished stone. We have this upside down U shape for the tail lights that's very distinctive, as well as the front fascia that has these very unique headlight forms. The doors, the way they open, the whole door is the actual entire body side. So it's very minimal parts to kind of add to this idea of simplicity. So Nuvi is designed for the urban environment, and a lot of our designers ride skateboards, so we really wanted to incorporate some kind of last mile scenario vehicle in the Nuvi, and we've done so with a, an electric longboard that's integrated in the rear shock towers that, when in place, is recharging and also acts as a high shelf that you can use with bungee cords to attach a laptop or a messenger bag. You know, in the future, things are changing in terms of how people own and use their individual products, and a car is no different. Most of the day, your vehicle's just sitting there idle. And with the new V, the idea is that why not make a little bit of money on it? So we were seeing this opportunity where the customer in the future could take their vehicle to work, and then instead of just leaving it there parked, this autonomous vehicle could make itself available to people who may want to borrow it while the owner is busy doing something else. So there's a lot of options and a lot of ideas of being able to make some money with the vehicle as well as have this more interactive experience with the vehicle. Hannah is the Honda Automated Network Assistant. That is our artificial intelligence. And the idea behind HANA is it's an AI that learns from you or with you based on experiences, and basically tries to make the driving experience better in every way. HANA can help you get from point A to point B in the most efficient and quick manner, but if you decide you don't feel like driving, HANA, she can drive you wherever you need to go. But at the same time, we're Honda and we still enjoy the fun experience of driving. So there's still a steering wheel in the vehicle and when you look at the exterior, you see the wheels pushed out of the body. So it's still kind of a fun vehicle to drive if you want to take over and enjoy it in manual mode. I'm really excited to be a part of NUV as it really shows that Honda's at the forefront of design and exploring the idea of advanced concepts. You know, maybe this isn't a vehicle that we're gonna come out with tomorrow, but it's definitely something that we're taking seriously and wanna share with the public and get feedback into how we design cars in the future. We're using a format here at the CES, we call it Inspiration Talks. We have invited uh, interesting people from the industry, people that think ahead. We have several highlights at the CES this year. Start with this car, it's a concept car for fit and healthy, the car that takes care of you. It senses how you feel, it uh, uh, measures what your uh, body tells you about your health and can then interact with you through different systems. And Mercedes got it. They cared about the individual. And to me, that was very powerful. You know, there's very simple technology that we can measure the variability in your heart rate and know how stressed you are. We have our EQ concept car here as well. Fully electric vehicles, but also connected autonomous. In order for autonomous driving to truly work, guess what? You need great mapping. The mapping material and the mapping information that we have today won't be enough. You need to know exactly what the world around you looks like. This is one of the reasons why we made the investment, because this is such a crucial part of that equation. For these cars, the same truths are true as for every Mercedes. Put the human at the center of the innovation. The ease, the trust that you're used to when you drive a Mercedes, with the boost, with the fun, will of course be the core values in the case of EQ as well.